Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing my July birch box for you guys, as well as trying on some of the products that I got in here. So obviously because of that, I already know what I'm getting in here, but I managed to actually not open the box this time before the video. That's a first, it's what I've been wanting to do with my birch box videos, and I finally had the willpower to do it. I'm waiting to do that for days. So first of all, the box this month is very beautiful. I love the design of it. It's light blue, light orange, a darker blue, a teal. It's very pretty. I feel like it's a little bit wintry though. Kind of reminds me of snowflakes, which I'm not complaining. I'll take winter over summer any day. But yeah, the box is very cute and I really like it this month. This is probably one of my favorite ones so far. I feel like I'm talking so fast and rushing this, but it's so hot in this room. I'm trying to like make this a quick video two cards in here this month. The first one is a coupon. It says we're adding an extra punch to your summertime routine. On the other side it says use code GIMME15, which I'll put here in case you want it, to get 15% off your next $35 plus purchase. So you'll get 15% off if you spend $35 or more on Birchbox's website. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. The other card is the one that has all the products and information on it and it says sundresses and flip flops, a pop of color on the lips and cheeks, during the dog days of summer all it takes are those ultra easy one two and done combos to get you out the door. So the theme of this box is a one two punch kind of thing, there are products that can be two in one used for multiple purposes. The first product in the card is the one I think I'm the most excited for, this is from Beautinique Beauty which never heard of this brand before. When I first saw the package of this on Birchbox, I thought it was going to be Beauty Crop based on the packaging. It's a vibrant pink and it has, it looks like a girl playing golf, but I don't think that's right. It's so small, it's hard to see, but there's definitely a girl on it and like green lily pads. Well, that makes sense that it's a girl sitting on lily pads. This is their blush serum in the color Sunrise, and the full size of this is $16. The card says that this lightweight, water-based blush gives your cheeks a healthy flush while nourishing your skin with apricot seed and vitamin E oil. So since this is a liquidy product, I tried to strategically place my powder on my face so I wouldn't get it where I'm going to place the blush, so we'll see if I managed to do that or if I just completely failed. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's a very, very vibrant pink. I'm hoping you can see that. I'll do close-ups too so you can see it better. Um, it's a little bit thicker than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more runny. I like this better. I feel like it's not going to spread out as much and I'll have a little bit more control over it when I blend it. I definitely put too much on my hand though, so just take a little of my finger and try to blend it out with my finger. I brought a beauty blender just in case though. It is very pigmented, but I want to build it up just a tiny bit more because I had a little bit of a hard time blending it out with my finger, and then I'll go over it with the Beauty Blender just to help that a little bit. It's a very beautiful color. It looks less vibrant on the skin, but it's still very pigmented and looks very pretty. It's kind of just a natural flush, which looks very nice. Those are the kind of colors I go for. I probably wouldn't have picked this color if I was just looking at it, but now that I put it on the skin, it looks very nice, so I'm happy I have this color. I think the other color option that I saw on the site was a deeper mauve, more for dark skin tones, I assume. I think there were only two different colors. So I am glad that I have this one instead because the other one probably wouldn't have suited me as much. I'm just going to go over that with a beauty blender a little bit. I think it looks really nice. I like it a lot. Don't know if you can see it like this, but hopefully with close-ups you'll be able to. Uh, it looks very nice. It looks pretty natural. It doesn't like settle into pores. It just kind of laid over it very nicely. I don't see it cling to any dry patches, so it either just does it in general or I managed to do good with the powder and not get it like where my blush is going to go. I like it a lot. This is definitely a great product and that's a great way to start off the box. The next product on the card is from Jouer, which is awesome. I've been wanting to try this brand but I've never bought anything from them before. This is their lip enhancer and the full size of this is $16. This says this fan fave lip treatment perfects your palate by nourishing lips and smoothing fine lines while leaving a translucent pink tint all in one swipe. So I'm pretty sure from... What I read about it on Birchbox's site, it's also supposed to be slightly plumping, which makes sense as fills in lines, but I first took that as it just kind of smoothed over it nicely. I didn't think it was going to be plumping, and I've never had a plumping lip product before, so I'm excited to try this. And I like that it has a little bit of a tint to it too, so let's see how this works. It comes out of the tube completely clear, so I guess it probably just kind of changes with your 
pH balance and the tone of your lips that you already have. So far, I don't think I see any color change. My lips just kind of look very wet and glossy, kind of like I have a clear lip gloss on. But they don't feel sticky like that. I usually hate lip gloss mainly for the sticky feeling. But it kind of just feels like a lip balm, which is really nice. It feels moisturizing. Um, I don't feel any tingling like you normally would with a plumping lip product. But I don't know if that's just going to take a little bit of time to start doing since I've never used a plumping product before so I don't really know how long they typically take. So I'll just let you know throughout the video and at the end of the video if I notice any difference in my lips. The next product is from Kiehl's. This is their Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. Full size of this is $22.50 and I like can't believe the sample size of this. This is the biggest cleanser I've gotten. The sizes of the cleansers that I've gotten have gotten bigger every single box I've gotten one. I'm so happy about this. This is so awesome. It says that this is made with exotic Brazilian clay from the mouth of the Amazon. This cleanser removes dirt and toxins without drying skin. So I think it's... let me look at it. So it's kind of a thick cleanser. It's not runny. I kind of expected it to look charcoaly. I don't know why I didn't say charcoal, but for some reason that's what I was expecting. But it's very creamy. It feels nice. I feel like this is going to feel so fresh and cleansing on my skin, well, obviously cleansing, but I feel like it's just going to feel very fresh, very clean, very like, you know how some cleansers just make your skin feel so smooth afterwards? I feel like this is going to be one of those based on the texture of it. On the bottle, it says that it also exfoliates and detoxifies, which is odd because it doesn't have any like beads or exfoliating, like that sand kind of texture to it. It doesn't have any grit to it. It just feels like a normal creamy cleanser, so I'm interested to see how it exfoliates. This is the second Kiehl's product I've gotten from Birchbox. The other one was a moisturizer, and I kind of got that a while ago now, but I finished it up. It was so nice, it was so moisturizing, and it felt really lightweight but hydrating on the skin. It was awesome, so I'm excited to have another Kiehl's product. Next on the card is from Marcel. This is their 3-in-1 Marcella Gel Eye Makeup Remover. Full size of this is $16, and it says this multifunctional formula works to gently remove all makeup, even waterproof mascara, while soothing skin and reducing puffiness around the eyes. So that's interesting. I've never had a makeup remover that also kind of worked as skincare to help puffiness or redness or anything like that. So that's cool. I was kind of curious as to how this could work as a two-in-one thing with the whole thing that they got going with the box. So that answers that. <laughs> with Birchbox, every month you're able to pick one of three samples to have in your box, and I actually picked that Jiwe lip product, but I was between that and this one, and I'm so excited that I also got this. That's happened before. I've been between two products, and I wind up getting both in the box anyway. That's so exciting. I can't wait to try this out. The last product in here is from R Co. This is their Badlands Dry Shampoo Paste. The full size of this is $28. And as soon as I saw Dry Shampoo Paste, I was like, man, I feel like I would have loved this when I still had very short hair. Because then it's dry shampoo and a styling product in one, and I just... I automatically knew I would have absolutely loved that. I feel like this would have been perfect for that. It says, part dry shampoo, part texturizer, this paste offers instant cool girl hair. Rub a small amount between fingertips and apply at your roots to quickly absorb and add volume. So yeah, I'm going to try that. I don't know how it's going to work out. I'm working with, ooh, it's like solid inside. I didn't expect that for some reason. I don't know why. I'm working with three day hair here, which is pretty disgusting, and it was so hard to not put in dry shampoo this morning because I knew I was going to be trying this out. So, let me just take the clips out. And I'm not really sure how much to take. I'll just. It's kind of hard because it's a small container, but. I'm trying so hard not to get it under my nails, but I know I'm going to. Alright, I scraped it up with my nail. I only took a tiny amount just in case it winds up being heavy. I kind of... Ooh. When you rub it in between your fingers, it just feels like you have regular dry shampoo left over on your hands. That's interesting. It's a very different texture than I expected. In a good way. Oh man, I look ridiculous now. It feels a lot better than I expected. I thought it was going to feel primarily like a styling product and not so much like dry shampoo but it does actually feel like dry shampoo I'm gonna have to play around a little bit more with this it's hard to like 
just to your hair either in the viewfinder or with such a small mirror but I feel like I'm gonna like this I like the texture a lot more than I expected to like I said I kind of thought it was gonna be a lot more like a paste like just a almost like not gel but like a paste styling product but once you rub it in between your fingers it feels like dry shampoo which is really cool I feel like it might be a little bit quicker in the morning too just take a little bit rub it in and you're done I've gotten R & Co products from Birchbox before and I really like them I got a regular shampoo and I feel like I got another, yeah, I got, got a texturizing spray, I think. And I've liked both of those, so I'm hoping I like this one too. So as for the Jouer lip product, I still don't really see much of any pink on my lips, unless it's just so subtle that you can't really tell too much. It might really just depend on the tone that your lips already are. I don't think I see any plumping going on. It does look nice though, it kind of just looks like a hydrating gloss and I like it. I'll wear it for that purpose. It feels like a lip balm, but it still gives a little bit of sheen to your lips, so it looks like you're wearing something. So I like it. Regardless, I still think it's good whether it has the pink tint to it or not. I don't really care about plumping. I've never been into like plumping my lips. I have no interest really in doing that. I was just kind of interested to see how this one would work. And I like it. I don't think it plumps. I don't think it has much of a tint, but I do think it's nice. So that is it for my July Birchbox unboxing. I think my two favorite products in here are the blush serum and the cleanser from Kiehl's. Even though I haven't tried it yet, I know I'm going to like it because it's a cleanser. I'm not usually too picky with those. The blush is absolutely beautiful. I feel like it has a very nice tint to it. It looks more natural on the skin than it does on your hand. The color is a little bit less vibrant on the skin, which I really love. I'm so happy with this month's box, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!